Hello and welcome to another TLC tutoring accounting video. Uh, here we're going to start breaking into those managerial accounting topics that we haven't quite touched upon yet. And one of the first ones that we want to tackle today is classifying costs. So before we really jump into this example, let's understand the differences between product costs and period costs. So product costs are all those costs that are involved in manufacturing a good. So whatever goes into the materials to manufacture the good, um, the uh, employees who are directly involved with actually manufacturing that good, and then any factory overhead, uh, say supervisor salaries or factory supplies, um, cleaning supplies for the factory, factory rent. So all those product costs are going to be lumped into that one category. Period costs, on the other hand, are your selling and administrative costs. So if you sell the good that was manufactured, that storefront, that would be considered a period cost, as well as all of the administrative costs that are related to that. So things like your accountant, your human resources department, um, any depreciation on computer equipment that is used at your HR headquarters, all of those different areas are going to be period costs. So let's take a look at some of these different examples and we will categorize them into product costs and period costs and then we will classify them even further to decide what type of product cost they are and what type of period cost they are. So let's see, here we have a truck manufacturer and one of the first costs that we see is the truck engine. Now obviously the truck engine is something that goes into manufacturing the truck so it is going to be a part of the factory cost. So it is a product cost. And now we have to decide if it's a direct material, a direct labor cost, or a factory overhead cost. The truck engine is a very, um, very prominent part of manufacturing that truck. So the truck engine, that would be considered a direct material. Now for B, the test driver, well the test driver is going to be part of that manufacturing process. They're going to be at the factory getting it ready, uh, making sure that all of the plans are working out correctly. However, they're not going to be directly involved in manufacturing that truck. So they're actually going to be considered a factory overhead cost. All of those extra costs that we have that are probably going to be involved with product costs, but it's not a material going directly into creating this product, and it's not any labor that is directly creating the product. All right, next are tires. So we know that tires are a pretty significant part of manufacturing a truck. That is going to be another product cost that will be a direct material. Now the assembly line wages. So the employees that are on the line actually assembling the truck. So this is definitely going to be in the factory. So this is a product cost. And they are directly involved with manufacturing the truck. So it will be a direct labor cost. Now the depreciation of the assembly equipment. Now this is assembly. So again, it's in the factory. It is a product cost. Now ask yourself, is it a direct material? No. Is it a direct labor? No. Depreciation for product costs are factory overhead. Factory cleaning supplies, we can think of this the same way as well. Um, it's definitely related to the factory, so it is a product cost. However, it's not a direct material and it's not direct labor, so it is also factory overhead. Now here we're getting into another depreciation one, but this is for the accounting staff computers. So does this have to do with the actual factory? No, this is actually um, kind of an administrative thing. So this would be a period cost, and it doesn't have to do with selling it. It is all administrative. So this would be a administrative period cost. Last but not least, we have the rent for the sales headquarters. So for that sales headquarters, it is not going to be the factory. It's so it will be a period cost. And it's not administrative, it's selling. So it is a selling period cost. 
Great. So now that you have a little bit of a better idea on the differences between product costs and period costs, um, take some time understanding those differences between direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. Um, that's really the main focus once you're getting into your managerial accounting courses. And really mastering these topics are going to be vital in order to ensure further success in more advanced topics. All right, so that'll be all for this video. Um, until next time, uh, please be sure to leave a comment uh, below if you do have any questions or would like to add anything to the conversation. And please be sure to subscribe. And until the next video, happy studying.